hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to rename files in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button so let's get started so first what we will do is we will drag and drop the rename file action right and here you can see that uh, we have option to select the file the one we want to rename and then we have rename scheme so here we have multiple options available right so if you want to set the new name you can select the first one and if you want to add some text you can select that remove you want to remove some text replace some text change extension add date time and make sequential so we will see all of these one by one so before we get started we will click on cancel and then we will go to get special folder action which will give me a direct path to my desktop and then from here if you see that we have multiple options actually so it's not just that desktop you can choose the application data local application data right so you will be able to get the path directly uh, to that location so if you want the path for the programs folder you can just select this one and you will get the path to the programs right just like this so i will choose desktop and then i will click on save And then what I want to do is I want to rename a file. I have a file which is inside the bot underscore files folder and file name is file one, right? And let's say I want to rename this file. Okay, so I'll minimize this. And then I will go to file and choose rename files. And here I will give select the variable this special folder path is giving me a direct path till the desktop and then I will specify the folder so my folder name is bot underscore files and inside that I have a file which is named as file one dot txt and let's say I want to rename that file as file two dot txt and keep extension so we can keep the extension and then i can choose choose the option what what should happen if the file already exists if you say that do nothing then file renaming will not happen but if you select the overwrite it will replace that file and the new file will be stored in the renamed files right and i will click on save now when i will run the bot you will see that file will be renamed and here yes, you see that file is file2.txt so it is giving with the extension because we enable that option as keep the extension I will go back to this rename file and I'll just remove this .txt and this time I'll have to specify the file 2.txt.txt and now when I will run the bot you will see that file 2.txt file will be renamed as file 2 as you can see here right so this is how you can rename the you can set a new name of a specific file I will open the rename file action again and from here I will choose the add text and let's say I want to add some text so let's say if I want to write John and where do you want to write the John after the name or before the name so let's say I want to write it before the name and if I rename it 
so before clicking on save you will have to remove this dot txt because now the file name is only file 2 right and dot txt is the extension of that file i will click on save and now when i will run the bot you will see that file will be renamed as john 2.tx john and file 2.txt as you can see here similarly you can choose the option as after the text and the name will be added after the file name and next action is remove the text right and what text do you want to remove so let's say i added john now i want to remove it i will use the remove text to remove i'll put the john and then i will click on save and here i will have to change the file name so a uh, file name is now john file 2.txt right and when i will click on save and run the bot you will see that john will be removed from that file name john has been removed correct i will open this rename file and from here i'll choose replace text so let's say i want to replace two with one right because i have file name as file 2.txt right so i want to replace the two with one and then i will click on save now when i will run the bot you will see that file will be named as file 1.txt so it says that file to rename not found right and reason behind that is because with the remove text we have removed the john from the file now it is just file 2 right so i'll rename the file remove the john from the file name and then i will click on save and then i will run the bot file has been renamed your file is named as file1.txt so i will open the rename file action and then i will select the next one which is change extension so here you can specify the extension and if you hover your mouse over this little eye icon says the text to add as the new extension for the file so you can give the extension as csv and now the file name is one so i'll keep it as i will rename the file also which is file one because file two is now renamed as file one dot txt i will click on save and then i will run the bot Now here you can see that extension has been changed. It is now Microsoft Excel X comma separated values file because we have changed the extension of that file. I will open the rename file action again and now I will change the file name as CSV because we change the extension and then I will choose add date time here you will get multiple option right so here you can enable use custom date time right and let's say from the date time to add you can choose the current date time creation time last accessed and last modified so let's say what would at whatever time this file was created and if you want to put that time in the file name you can choose the creation time you can also use the last accessed time as well in the file name right so for now i will go ahead with the creation time okay and where do i want to add this name let's say i can say that okay add it uh, after the name okay and separate it let's say i want to use a dash okay 
or let's say I want to use underscore and what do you want to write in this year month and date let's say I also want to add hours minutes and seconds and then I will click on save now I will run the bot you will see that file has been renamed so it says that 2022-01 11th March 11th January Oh, sorry so 2022 January and 16th is the date and then that the remaining is the time right so this is this is how you can use this rename file action right and uh, similarly if you want to use period dash space so all these options are available which you can use while renaming the file now if you want to make it sequential you can choose that option and start numbering at so let's say I want to start the numbering from 1 and and let's say you want to increment it by 2 separator will be space adding if you want to use you can use and then you can click on save now because the file name is different and press F2 copy the file name press enter come back to power automate and then replace the file as dot csv and then click on save now when you will run the bot you will see that file will be renamed the sequence has been added as one now if you want you are going to rename multiple files then the number will be incremented by two and the next file name will be what what the file name is given here and then plus two so it will be three right so this is how you can use the rename file action in Power Automate Desktop. So if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.